Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. According to the title card, we are at Mibu Village, which means that we're at the place that makes those water balloons. Which is also interesting, because of course we know that the water used in those balloons is supposed to be coming from a holy fountain. So... Let's just start by exploring these little shacks. I don't know if I can actually enter these. Doesn't seem like it, although there is an item inside of them. Or behind it. Lump of fatty wax, that's always handy. Try and move around a bit, because last time we cleared out the... Isn't that an enemy? Oh, is that another memorial mob? This is a different memorial mob, isn't it? Care to put... Oh, no, no, that's the guy we talked to before, so the exiled memorial mob, yeah. So, we bought a few things from him. Uh, among which also the sake, so we need to remember that. Now, there's apparently water over here, and oh. What is this guy all about? Seems like one of those swordsmen. Okay. Poison. That went through my deflect. Oh, that. Ooh. He just killed me. I could have gotten a backstab on there, but I don't know why I didn't get it. Okay, okay, heal up. Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. Scrap magnetite, that took me a bit too long. And I got a bit of pacifying agent from him as well. But he was guarding an item. Don't know why I didn't get a backstab. Probably because of the water uh, that was spoiling my... Location there. Okay, another treasure carp scale. Which is great. We're still collecting those, of course. Still a few items we can buy with those. But that's basically it for that little bit of water. So I'm just gonna rest up again. It's probably gonna respawn that guy, but I'm not gonna go in that direction anymore. That sucked a bit. It was harder than I remembered. Maybe he's uh, a bit more... A bit tougher as well, because he's in this area. I don't know what the order of areas is supposed to be. So there's definitely something scraping stuff together. Although the same sound is coming from over here. Okay. And poison seems to be more prevalent here as well. So might as well just equip that instead of the ceramic shard. So there we go. Antidote powder. There we go. I don't know what these guys can actually do. Apparently not much. There's a few of them though. There we go. And they probably give us more... Ooh, ceramic shards. Is that a bigger one or... Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. I feel like I'm filling an entire... Oh, of course, they're filling balloons with the water from the river here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Seems to be... Yeah, plenty of water and sort of like a spirit tree over there. It's the one tree that actually seems to be blooming. And I definitely hear more enemies and see more enemies. So they're passing by. Uh, there we go, that guy down. And of course, Mibu Balloons. Which makes sense, because we're in Mibu Village. Oh! Oh! Bro, 
from uh, that blow to that blow. And a Mickey recounter for good measure. The villagers are mad! Oh my god, I'm just... Does this feel good? I don't know if this feels good. I'm just massacring this entire village. This does not seem like I'm the good guy here. And they seem to be resurrecting as well. Yeah, that definitely doesn't feel like I'm doing the right thing here. And it seems those spear guys are actually resurrecting. Multiple times even. So I'm just gonna let them pass. And move further again. This is interesting. This is interesting, but what causes them to resurrect? Oh. We're on the roof. He can touch us here. And we can get inside of this area. Which we could have done through that hook as well. So there's definitely something in this house. Just gonna stand still while we're at it. And there's something in the corner there. Seems like somebody we can actually talk to. Hello. Basket, 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 basket. Hi. I'm a basket. Okay. Hey. Basket, 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 basket. Oh. Calm down. You... Are you... An honorable person? Yes. <gasps> Thank goodness! You are an honorable person. <laughs> Is there... Something you want to ask? Look, sorry, but... Uh, if you have questions, I'll have to answer with this basket on my head. Oh, okay. That's basket wears Shosuke. Okay, ask about the village. What is wrong with this village? Uh, I'd like to know that too. Before I knew it, I had gone insane. For a while, I too was in a daze, but I snapped out of it after I threw up. I was thirsty, so I drank a lot of sake. I'm sure that's what made me throw up. The head priest sometimes treats us to sake. But you know, when you drink sake, you get thirsty. The sake cask runs dry in no time. So everyone has no choice but to drink the water in the ponds and rivers. But the more you drink it, the thirstier you get. Oh. You get thirstier and thirstier, can't ever drink enough. So the water is definitely poisoned then. What is wrong with the villagers? Hmm? No idea. All I know is they all fear fire. For a while, I too was in the same days, and I felt the fear too. An unquenchable fire. Even now, the thought of it gives me chills. An unquenchable fire. The hunter Inuhiko started burning pine resin and locked himself in his house. His pine resin burns a long time. It's a real nuisance. Inohiko is the village outcast. He likes eating wild animal meat in the sort. That's why the head priest doesn't give him any sake. Where is Inohiko's house? Oh, uh, on the other side of the pond. Inohiko's is the last house on the path. Of course it is. Tell me about the priest. He's the most important person in the entire village. You can find him in the shrine, all the way up the riverside, near the water's source. He told us, let us become citizens of the palace. If you drink enough sake, you shall become citizens, he said. Huh? A citizen of the palace? I don't really get it, but that's what he said. I'm guessing that's some reference oh, to... I'll be here, hiding in this basket. <laughs> Must resist drinking. I think it's a reference to the afterlife, right? Because the fountainhead is really sacred. Okay, I need to... There we go. And since they think that the water is 
holy, that might mean that the palace is referencing to the palace of the afterlife and not something else. But, other interesting information. He said that they fear fire. So let's just equip the flame vent. Let's see what we can do with that. Maybe we can permanently kill some guys with that. And it's probably the water that also gives them their immortality. Some of these at least. Because these guys keep resurrecting. And now he's disappeared. Oh! Oh! They're coming out of the ground! So I'm not entirely sure whether they're resurrecting or just coming back from out of the ground. Seems like it's the latter. I'm just gonna heal up by killing these guys. Seems like I am, however, in a kind of a vicious circle. More pacifying agent, and let's get that money back. And there's two more guys now. Don't know where these came from. Yeah, they're just respawning. They're not really resurrecting. They're coming out of the ground. Because this is the, the exact same setup as it was before. So, that means we should probably not care about those guys and just stealth around them. Because even these guys are just back. They come out of the ground and take the place of the guy they, they saw before that. Another Mibu balloon. We could get to the other side. Oh god. More pallets. Now he said that the guy who had the unquenchable flame was living on the other side of the pond. Which is supposed to be over here then. I know I skipped a few things. I'm gonna try and get inside of this place. He locked himself inside of his hut. And it seems like I can't really bust through this for some reason. So, I skipped from the boat to here. Which means that I should probably go back a bit. Oh, there's even... Oh. Okay, I need to go to the other side again. I'm gonna loop her back around and then get to that sculptor's idol I just saw. So there's multiple buildings. I'm just gonna try and go through this while alerting pretty much everybody. If I, can, I need to kill stuff along the way, I definitely won't hesitate either. But for now, oh, that building also seems to be enterable. There's a hook there, but... Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, didn't realize that chicken was there. Those chickens do a lot of damage, by the way. Wait, there's a hook, but... Can't seem to reach that. No, ah, but I can do this, and then this, and then go... Over here. Okay. Is this the same house? No, this is not the same house, because now there's an item here. Fistful of ash. Though it looks like the exact same house, aside from... Because even the clothing is over there, indicating that this was... The house of one of those soldiers. Because Basket Man was probably also one of those soldiers then. Where do I want to go? There seems to be an upper area as well. Let's check that out all the same. It even goes higher, right? Because that's scaffolding leading up. And a lot of big giants. This is, seems this seems fine. Maybe go down first, because I know there's a... There we go. I know there's at least... Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
And they got me. Couldn't go that get out. Oh for fuck's sake! Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my god. So they're coming out of the woodwork. So gotta remember those those white patches mean that there's gonna be guys coming out of the floors. I think. Although I feel like it's more than that. No, it's definitely those white patches. Ow, 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 ow. Get away, get away, get away. She's gonna grab a few items. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yup. Oh, hello. Oh, this is no good. What the hell is that? They're throwing stuff at me. That's the mad thing. There we go. Double Ishimonji took care of that, and I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired by that dude. Okay. Just gonna run in circles a bit. There was an item. I thought I saw an item. There's items up there. Ah, there's an item here. More pallets. This seems to be it. But, moving along. So there's the sculptor's idol. We almost around the pond just gonna jump to the side here to grab this guy in the back there we go now we could get on top of the roof is there another hole in the roof here doesn't seem like it maybe there's a door yes there is we can enter this place through here Oh, and I get the pots. The vine confetti, which is always nice, and yellow gunpowder. So, a way of harming ghosts is always handy to us, but what else is here? Another one of those poison guys. I feel like these will also resurrect. There's definitely... Oh, there's stuff on the scaffolding. Uh, jump on top of here. Uh, more pallets, which is basically useless to us right now. Okay. Oh, and there's that uh, samurai again. The one that kept hearing the music. So let's rest at it. Doesn't really matter, I think. Aside from the fact that the big guys come back, maybe. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. Hello. Oh, is that you, Shinobi? I was so taken by the melody. I did not see you coming. Ah, I can hear it. I'm sure the Shamisen player is just beyond here. I knew it. She's been waiting for me the whole time. I don't think she is. Because I thought we defeated her, that that was the woman that was responsible for the illusions. But that is the confirmation that we didn't. That we're still looking for somebody else. Which is definitely troubling. But, let's get back into Chicken Town here. We haven't checked out this way any further. So let's just murder our way through here. Let's see if we can't find anything. 
I've been as far as here, because I picked up that item. But not any further down. Are those scorch marks or just shadows? Seems like they're just shadows, okay? Or ash. A ladder, but shinobis don't use ladders, obviously. Okay, so there's something in the back of me. Waking up. What the hell? Oh. Fine resin ember. Oh, so that's his house. A piece of resin that contains a continuously smoldering flame. So these are scorch marks. Can be used to upgrade the flame vent. The resin was found in a black pine within the forest of Mibu village. The ever smoldering flames acted as a landmark to find one's way to the village. In time, the villagers came to loathe the flames and the black pines were lost. Those who defended the flame were equally loaded. Okay. But now we have a problem. There we go. There's a path up here to escape. Because a lot of enemies just spawned. Multiple bell giants. And a few of those other guys. So let's just go up here. Don't know where this is going to lead us to. Another item. More amiibo balloons. The amiibo balloon of soul. And that's basically it. Because this loops us back around. Great. So now, next place we haven't checked out yet is on the other side of the water, that upper area. So might as well do that now. So looping around, we're back at that upper area with those multiple giants we saw. From afar. And that's the graveyard where we picked up a few items, but nothing else. We could pull ourselves up. And try to defeat the giants the normal way. But there is grass around here. So I'm going to just try and do this stealthily. Or as stealthily as humanly possible. Okay, fuck stealth. And he's going mad. There's a second one. There's a second one. Just guard to get my pusher back. Oh! He could hit me from up there. That was bullshit. And we're almost down. Almost down. We're not dead yet. Now we're dead. I can't I can't do anything with two guys. That's ridiculous. Get out! Oh, I hate it that you can't jump off a cliff. It just sticks to the invisible boundary that it has. There we go. That's one. Just gonna take care of these guys. I'm gonna give me my life back as well. And now, I can handle one hammer guy. There we go. Taken care of. Down goes the giant. So that took all my healing gourds. Which is sad because I couldn't find a good position to switch between those guys. But we get more Ashina Saki. Which is, I know I can use that for something else and just give it to the sculptor. Because we know that old woman also asked for Saki a while back in Senpo Temple. So that's also something I want to do. If I don't forget to do it, because there's a lot to do in this game. And more adamantite scrap. But we're still missing a lot of iron, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is good. So this is cleared out. Which means that I can now go back to the Sculptor's Idol. And we'll see from there what we'll do next. So while we're talking about it, let's do that first. Let's head back towards the old lady, which is bad over there, I think. And let's see what she can tell us if we give her a bit of sake. So, remember this? The old woman pointing towards that cliffside down there. She also asked us if we could give her some rice. Oh, do nothing. So I can't even give her the sake. Damn. Okay. Never mind. So it's not that particular sake that she's looking for then. 
Rise from the Divine Child. Interesting. I don't have that. So next stop on the way is the sculptor. You need. We can give him a drink again. Might as well try and do that. So Dragon Spring Sake. I brought sake. Ooh, Dragon Spring? That's fine quality sake. I'll take it then. Now that really hits the spot. Oh, there's nothing quite like this. I often drank this with Dogen. Emma would keep our cups filled. Have you known Lady Emma for long? Oh, that was a long time ago. I found her on a battlefield. A battlefield? She crept up, slowly towards me, her eyes fixed, unwavering on the rice I held in my hand. It became too much to bear, so I gave it to her. Then she just started following me. After that... <laughs> well, a while later, Ashina became a dangerous place for the both of us. Around then, Dogen adopted her as his daughter. I suppose it didn't really matter where she ended up. One thing's for sure. She's happier for the fact she wasn't raised by a shinobi. So interestingly, it seems like Emma was picked up by the sculptor the same way that we were picked up by uh, Owl, which is interesting. So now we should have... Is that this? No, Golden Vortex is something else, but yeah, this, the Okinaga's Flame Vent. Emits a short range flame blast, continuous fire stream, fire damage will inflict the burn status, it is able to maintain a continuous stream of flames due to the smoldering resin inside the tube mechanism. We need to upgrade it then if we want to. And I want to of course go for the Phantom Kunai, so we're almost there with the Scrap Iron, which is still our biggest problem. So let's move back. Which makes me wonder, Emma also likes sake. So let's use the shortcut back to Ashina Castle and give her some. Although now that I think about it, she might not even be able to accept that because last time we tried to give her a Gortzi, that didn't work out either. My lord is not in this castle keep, but Lord Ishin is not well. Yeah, we can't do anything else. Okay, never mind. Let's head back to the village then. I want to see what is inside of the Temple Art skill tree, however, so let's purchase the Praying Strikes ability. And that allows us to see Virtuous Deeds, improves the amount of sand obtained from enemies and improves item drop rates. In the words of the High Priest of Senpo Temple, one should focus only on deeds of virtue and forego thoughts of attaining wealth. And then we have an Exorcism ability, adds a finishing attack to Praying Strikes, unleash a flurry of the quick attacks inflicting damage while preventing counter attack. Okay, then use a heavier blow using one's entire body to complete the combination. The Senpo monks also use this technique as a way to purge themselves of worldly desires. However, it seems like they have something else to say about that. There's even lore in the abilities. So let's get back to the village. So back in the village, we're gonna head up now. And I feel like we're gonna maybe encounter a boss, because it's been a while since we had a proper boss fight. Uh, I think it's been since uh, Genichiro. That's probably the last boss. So there's the Shamisen player. Now we can hear her as well. This place seems... Big and empty. She also has a basket on her head. Seems like this is getting, becoming a team. Okay. Why are you crying? Because I'm sad. Obviously. What are you sad about? I don't know where Lord Sakuza is or what he's doing. It breaks my heart. If I can't see him, I'd at least like to know. But no matter how many letters I send, he never writes me back. And no one will tell me where he is. Actually, sir, can you tell me? Where is Lord Sakuza? Um, I, I don't know or say nothing. I don't know. Oh, you're a liar too. Why must everyone hide him from me? Oh God, Jesus Christ. Oh, hello, woman. 
Orin of the Water. So she's an apparition type enemy. Obviously. Rocking away. My posture is gone to shit. Jesus. And I'm dead. Okay. This is gonna be a long one, isn't it? Oh! I can't seem to hit her while she's in that state. I don't know what this does. Still can't hit it. And that's a sweep. Okay. So obviously, using Divine Confetti would help me in that fight. I just lost a lot of money, by the way. Um, I'm not going to care about it. I feel like this is a proper boss fight. Let's talk to him. No, okay, he's just got off his rockers. So... Is she gonna attack me immediately now? Oh. She's not even aggroed now. Interesting. Oh, ha 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 Oh, nasty. Yeah, she counters my trust attacks perfectly. Yeah, and the second strike she always parries, okay? She's a really technical fight. Ah, she killed me. <laughs> Time to start using a few of my prosthetic to see what works and what doesn't. Because oh, Rin is a bitch. She doesn't let me leave. I can't backstab her as a start here. That at least seems to stun her a bit. Can't strike her twice. And a sweep, and I couldn't block the sweep because I was posture broken. And I'm dead. Okay, got a good run there, but then I got knocked off my feet immediately. Oh, and she just hits me out of the resurrect. Stop sitting on your ass, Sekiro! I still don't know how that happens. Still haven't gone through the first bit either. But I still don't know how that happens that you get your... He goes on his on his ass for some reason. While my posture is still not unbroken. But let's start this off with... Okay then. Oh, and she just slits my throat. She kind of death blowed me there. Oh, and I'm I'm just dead. I can break her posture, I think, but I need to be very careful when I do so. There we go. And I'm dead. The reason I don't want to use this item, the Divine Confetti, is because I don't have... Many of them. I only have two. But here we go. It definitely does more damage. Oh, and it's gone already. 
That did a lot of damage, but... Ah, we're dead. We got really close to the waterfall there for some reason. Let's heal up. Or not. Ah, we're dead. So next attempt at trying to do something different. I'm gonna try and use a snap seed on her. How dare you hide Lord Sakuza from me? No, that didn't do anything. And that just goes through my guard sometimes. There we go. That's the first one. But of course we need a second one as well. No, 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 no. Oh, and I'm dead. I have one resurrect though. Just gonna get it immediately. There we go. Stay close. Yeah, and I'm dead. Okay, I didn't have enough health to finish that last fight. Okay, but stay close. Staying close is the best way to deal with this. Yeah, there we go. That's the first one. I'm gonna heal up in between and stay close. Oh, she did an extra attack there. That Okay, okay, staying close, and I'm dead. Just gonna run away for a second. Jump attack. And a swoosh, that's in the back, twice. That's a flying one, deflect and then jump. And that's the swipe in the back. Just stay calm. Just stay calm and stay close. That's and a jump. And if we can't get the jump off. Just slowly deflect everything. That's a swipe in the back. That's the flying one, deflect and calmly jump. Then stay close. And then stay close again. That's the flying one and a jump. Can't get the jump off, so just attack. Stay close. That's a combo, so jump at the end and. And there we go. 
lot of posture through and there goes a run of the water so staying close is the key i think i repeated my own actions enough in this last fight brought me that man in his death oh and he's right over there uh oh is he where is he Prayer bead, so that was not a boss fight, that was a, a mini boss. Breath of Life Shadow, a latent skill that recovers vitality upon performing a successful death blow. Hmm. Death blow provides death blows provide you with an opportunity to breed. Experiencing battles with powerful opponents further deepens this moment of respite. Okay, so we get more health from death blows now. Just gonna heal up. And I wanna talk to that samurai now. So Lord Sakuza gave him Gave her another man in his stead, and that's probably this guy over here. Hello. Is that you? Are you there, Shinobi? Yes. I must give you my thanks, Shinobi. Your thanks? You brought the Shamisen player to me just a moment ago. She caressed me. While playing her sweet melody, hmm. it was a different song than before. Like a lullaby. A peaceful, warm melody. She spoke to me as she played. Thank you for coming to me, she said. It turns out she was calling to me this whole time. Shinobi, please. Take this. A Jinja's Jizo statue. Buddha effigy bound in light pink cloth. Raised in prayer between one's palm to restore a note of resurrective power. To enswath a Jizo statue is to express feelings of parental love. Lord Sakuza, please take this cloth and use it to bundle this little one. So that he may live on in peace. I'm so very tired now. As in... Tired... Tired... That you die, or... This doesn't seem clear. Are you dead? Sir? Sir? Ooh. I think Jesus is dead. Um, didn't mean to do that. So, as far as I can understand the story a bit here, Orin was in love with Lord Sakuza, but he didn't love her back, so instead he sent her Jiza. Which she lured around with her shamisen playing. Uh, but she was kind of a restless spirit, I suppose. And killing her set her spirit free. Caressing Jiza one more time while she passed. And ending this little side story. Interesting. So with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Because uh, I really did. So uh, again, thank you enormously for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.